Visualizing data is a must-have skill these days, but a lot of the data graphics out there lack punch. In this video, I will walk through step-by-step step how to make a good chart. What is a good chart? A good chart is one that brings alive the story of the data you're trying to convey in simple, powerful strokes. Let's replay that. A good chart is simple to understand and sustains your attention. I saw this chart on Reddit last year. The chart title is clear enough. Which birds prefer which seeds? But where is the answer? You are sorting through the red, the orange, and the green cells. And then eventually you make your way to the bottom right corner and you find the legend and you discover that green means like. The greens have the story, but there are too many distractions. Let's start by taking things out that interfere with the message. I nuked the three color scheme and used three shades of green. Instinctively, you know that the darkest green is the most preferred. I don't need to give you a color legend here because your eyes are naturally drawn to the darker colors. So I lied a little because those white cells are calling at you. And what about those white cells? Well, either they don't know anything about the uh, bird seed pair, or they do know that one should never feed that type of bird that type of seed. In both cases, I would like to gloss over those particular cells, so I made them gray, pushing them into the background. What else is dominating your, our attention unnecessarily? Well, it, it's those ugly, thick black grid lines. So I made them gray and pushed them into the background. Then I also made the grid lines thinner. Let me flip the original chart at you for a second. Here, you find those distracting pink and orange cells, the black thick grid lines, and those distracting white cells, they're all grabbing your attention. And here is our revised chart. This design focuses your eyes on those dark green cells. It answers the question, which bird prefers which seeds? I haven't used any fancy tools here. You can do all of this in Excel. Let me show you again. Here is where we started, and here's where we ended up. Oh, one last thing. I resorted the columns. So now the most popular seats are shown on the left, and the least popular ones are on the right. There you have it, a step-by-step -step tutorial to making a good chart. If you like this video, share with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Comment below to suggest future topics. Principal Analytics Prep. Prepping you for the data revolution.